Welcome back to projection of solids. In this question, the solid given is a hexagonal prism. A hexagonal prism is resting on HP with one of its rectangular faces. So, it is like this and the axis is inclined at 30 degree to VP. So, this is the orientation. So, the axis is inclined at 30 degree to VP and the hexagonal prism is resting on HP with one of its rectangular surfaces. As it is resting on HP with one of its rectangular surfaces, the axis is parallel to HP. Now, the axis is inclined to VP with an angle of 30 degrees. So, the first step in the simple projection, we have to make the inclination as perpendicular. So, here the axis inclination is 30 degree to VP. We have to make the solid axis to perpendicular to VP. So, now we have to decide which one is the base view and which one is the lateral view. Here obviously, the front view is the base view and top view is the lateral view. So, we have to start from the front view. Okay, in the front view, we have to keep a base edge parallel to XY because it is resting on HP with one of its rectangular surfaces. So, if it is if a base corner is here, a lateral edge will be resting on HP. We need to rest a lateral surfaces to be resting on HP. So, a base edge should be in the bottom most side. So, we have to draw like this. Let us name all of its corners. As it is positioned like this, there will be a front face and a rear face. Let us name the front face as ABCD and the rear face as 1, 2, 3, 4. And as the solid is like this, the ABCD face is in the front side and 1, 2, 3, 4 face in the, is in the rear side. If you view from the top, the ABCD face will be in the bottom and 1, 2, 3, 4 face will be in the top. So, this is A, A. Now, I have named all the corners in the top view. And then, we have to include the inclination of the axis. Actually, the axis is inclined at 30 degree to VP. So, we have to add that inclination. We have to draw a 30 degree line here. In the 30 degree line, we have to copy the same diagram in exact dimensions in 30 degrees. This one is the axis. Now, I have named all the points in the second view. Then we have to project all the points to the front view. Then let us mark all the points in the front view. This line corresponds to points F, E, 5 and 6. So, the points F is here, point E is here and point 5 is here and point 6 is here. Then this line corresponds to the point 1, 4, D and A. Point 1 is here, point 4 is here, point A is here and point D is here. The baseline corresponds to the points. B, C, 2 and 3. So, B is here, C is here, 2 is here, 3 is here. So, the next step is darkening all the outermost edges. Now, we have darkened all the outermost edges and then we have to decide what are the edges which are visible and what are the edges which are invisible. So, this is front view, this is top view. When you view from the front, the ABCD phase will be surely visible and 1, 2, 3, 4 phase will be surely invisible. So, we have to draw the ABCD phase with visible edges and 1, 2, 3, 4 phase with invisible edges, right. So, when you view from the front, the first edge which is visible is 1A, 
that is surely visible and the last edge which is in the interior is 4D that is surely invisible. So the 1A should be darkened and 4D should be in dotted line. 1A should be darkened and 4D should be in dotted line. That's all. Thank you.